when learning about neural networks for the first time, you might hear about the term nonlinearity around the time you learn about activation functions. Basically, nonlinearity just means not linear. While nonlinear does mean not linear, there are a couple of small catches that aren't obvious right away. For example, if the output function of a network could be described by the function the square root of 2 times x squared plus pi cubed sine x, you might think that the function is doing a nonlinear transformation. However, if the inputs into the network are x squared and sine x, then you know that the network did a linear transformation. It's a linear transformation since the output can be written as a linear combination of the inputs. That is, if we say y equals x squared and z equals sine x, we can immediately see that the square root 2 times y plus pi cubed times z is a linear combination of y and z. Note that we don't care that the constants are the square root of 2 and pi cubed, those are just constants that don't depend on the input. We can rewrite this function as f of yz equals a times y plus b times z and see more clearly that this is a linear function. You might now be confused. So if the output can be nonlinear, but it isn't a nonlinear transformation, then what is a nonlinear transformation? A nonlinear transformation is anything that can't be written as the sum of all the inputs times some constants. That is, f of x, x2, x3 is linear if and only if it can be written as f of x, x2, x3 is equal to a1 x plus a2 x2 plus a3 x3 dot 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 plus c, where c is just some constant. Going back to the earlier example, that example is only linear if the inputs are x squared and sine x. If the input is x by itself, it's nonlinear. If it's x squared by itself, it's nonlinear. Or sine x by itself, it's nonlinear. We know it's not a linear transformation because there's no way to take x squared and multiply it by some constant to get sine x or vice versa.